Virgin and Sky are really the two main front runners. I'm, I'm, obviously, BT's up there as well. Yeah. But for Vodafone to be like, you know, basically reaching like the, the top of the, the broadband market, I thought was quite cool. You know, um, kind of like how being a West Ham fan and us being in the top four at the moment. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, uh, Vodafone um, reaching new heights in their in their broadband sales Definitely. and they're offering like a really good package so uh, for the same for just only 22 pound a month what, you can reach averaging 63 megabytes that's not bad yeah that's what i thought i thought oh, that's crazy. that that's quite cheap that's uh that's quite on on par with um most um broadband deals out there but does uh it, it doesn't say anything if that includes landline anything like that it was just no i think it might just be the internet but to be honest you know what i I was thinking about it actually recently like how many people actually use like landline and and tv like nowadays compared to before i mean obviously still a lot of people but like when when i had my place before i didn't use the landline once yeah and i never even touched the tv because you can watch everything online i know i know what you mean I exactly know what you mean. Whereas back in the day, like every, literally everyone had like a, a Virgin or a Sky box or, you know, like some kind of like TV box. Yeah. But now most people are using like Netflix or, you know, um, like Amazon Fire Stick and all these different things. Well, it's true. It's actually true. Um, like, but you know what? They've um, they've done something funny. If you, so um, our broadband is running out. Well, actually right now last month. Okay. Um, and we were meant to get a new broadband. So we're checking on the best deals. But what I've noticed mm. is that if you have a broadband that is, um, so, uh, sorry, I got just got distracted. Um, the broadband. So th- if, if you just get broadband alone, mm. it's more expensive than if you get broadband and landline. Broadband and landline is more cheaper. It's very weird. It's this. It's, it's some bizarre, but it's just weird. But yeah, I just thought I'd th- throw that in there as well. Like, so if anyone's looking for deals, make sure you get a landline. But I agree with your point. Mm. Um, since smartphones or anything like that have come about, and you get really good deals on your phone, you pay um, like you pay that ten pound or twenty pound a month for mm. unlimited minutes, unlimited text, unlimited internet. Yeah, whatever. Why would you pay for a landline? So I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but they've done. A bit of a thing where there's a bit more, ch- it's a bit more cheaper. In I yeah, don't know. they've done it for to, to make you get it basically for whatever yeah. reason. It must be so, so so it looks better on their numbers because they know that most people nowadays aren't going to get a landline unless it's cheaper. But it looks better for obviously their you know their projections and stuff like that. Definitely. But you know, oh yeah, we're selling this much broadband, this much like television, and then this much. Um, like landlines as well yeah so they, they make it cheaper to make you buy the landlines Definitely. so it looks better for their targets and that that's what i think yeah 